In this video, we shall look at how to install the Revit Software Development Kit, which is often referred to as the SDK. The Revit Software Development Kit contains samples, documents, and help files, all of which help in working with Revit API. For this guide, it is not compulsory to install the SDK, but it is a good resource to take help from when you start working with Revit API beyond this project. We can access the installer for Revit SDK in two ways. One source for the installer is the Developer Center for Revit. As you can see on our screen, the latest SDK is available for download from here. The other source is to use Revit's installation package where we can directly double click on the setup.exe file. This opens up the initialization screen for the installer. And this brings us the installation dialog. Based on the options we can see in the Revit installation dialog, we can install the products, we can create deployments for client workstations, we can read the documentation related to installation and readme files, and also install a couple of tools and utilities. Since we want to install the SDK, we shall click on tools and utilities option, and this provides us with a list of tools to install from. Since we are interested in installing only the SDK, we shall uncheck all the other products from the list and then click on Next. Clicking on the Install button starts the installation process. After clicking on the Install button, it brings up a dialog asking for the location of the SDK. We can either browse to a folder of our choice or go ahead with the default path. In this case, I shall not change the default path and just click on Install. Clicking on install extracts all the SDK files to the folder we specified. After the installation is complete, it brings up a dialog informing us of the completion of the installation and we can click on finish to get rid of this installer dialog. Just to confirm, using Windows Explorer, we can browse to the folder we specified for the SDK installation and verify that the SDK files got copied.